the arrow peak feature is new to Windows 7, and it will make all your open windows, and I've got one, two of them, become temporarily invisible or transparent so I can see through them to what's on my desktop behind it, for example. I have my exercises folder somewhere on my desktop, and as I look around the windows, I can't find it, but I suspect that it's behind these windows. So instead of coming up here and closing out of my windows, or moving my windows from side to side to see that portion of the desktop, I can leave my work open here, come down here on my taskbar to the far right, and you see that little vertical rectangle? When I hover over it, it makes those windows become transparent so I can see through to them on my desktop, and there's my exercises folder. Now looking at those outlines, you can see that Windows 7 wants you to know that it hasn't closed out of your windows, it just made them transparent. So when you're done, just go ahead and move your mouse off of the vertical rectangle, and they pop back up. Now when it comes to the arrow peak, I understand peak. You can play peekaboo with your desktop and see through to any open windows or programs you have in front of you to your desktop. But what does the arrow mean? Arrow is the effect of peaking. It's the fade effect. So did you notice that when I hover over the little rectangle, it fades the windows out or they become transparent, and when I move off, they fade back in? I don't care that much about the arrow effect or the fade effect as long as I can peek through with, to my desktop. But Windows 7 has a nice little smooth transition and so it makes it easier for the eyes to adjust when those windows fade in and fade out. Now if you like shortcut keys, the shortcut key for the fade effect is the window key. So go ahead and find it on your keyboard and it looks like this, the little logo. Of course it's in black and white on your keyboard. Hold that down and while holding the windows key down, go ahead and push the space bar once. Tap it and the arrow peak is now implemented. When you're done, let go of the Windows key and you're back out of it and all the windows are restored. And if for some reason you want to disable this little fade effect here, the arrow peak, when you hover over that little vertical rectangle, I don't know why you'd want to disable it. It's never done anything to you, but if you want to do that, just come down here and find a blank area somewhere in your taskbar. Go ahead and right click on it and then come up and left click on properties. And then over here on the taskbar tab down below, Go ahead and uncheck Use Arrow Peak to preview the desktop. Uncheck it, click OK, come over here and hover, nothing. Notice how it says Show Desktop? Well, that little vertical has two features. Well, I disabled one of them, the peak feature, so when I hover over it, nothing happens. But when I click on that vertical rectangle, it takes all these open windows and puts them down here on the taskbar. In other words, it shows my desktop by minimizing these open windows down here to the taskbar, so when I click on it, the windows are still open. You can see the corresponding buttons down here on my taskbar for the computer and C drive. Now I can see my desktop and go ahead and open up other folders and work on them. If I want to go ahead and restore those windows from being minimized down here on my taskbar, just come over here and click on the Show Desktop and it restores them. However, this Show Desktop only works on the most recently open or closed window or program that you've been working on. So for example, if I come over here, click on it, it shows the desktop, right? So the computer and C drive are, are minimized down to the taskbar. So if I come up here and I open up another folder or program and I go, oh, that's nice. And I come over here and click on the show desktop. It doesn't restore the other two windows. It actually takes what's already open and minimizes it. Then when I come back and click on it again, the most recent window that I had open was the exercises folder and it restores it. So again, this show high desktop, that little click on that vertical rectangle only works, minimize or restores the most recently worked on window or windows that I had open at one time or another. So if I come up here and I close out of this window and I want the other two windows restored, just click on them, like buttons, click on them, and they pop back open. Now in addition to the arrow peak, that when you hover over that vertical rectangle, you can see through anything that's open to your desktop. You also have the application peak, as I introduced it to you in the previous training video, but you probably didn't know what the technical term was, so we're becoming geeks, application peak. That means that if you just want to be able to see of all the open windows that you have open, just one of them, for example, I got my computer window here, but behind it, I have the C drive window. There's my computer corresponding button. There's my C drive. And if I can't see the C drive, but I want to leave the windows where they're at, then I can come down here, hover over the C button, and then up above, you see the thumbnail or preview for the C drive. Now watch what happens to that computer window up above when I hover over the thumbnail preview it makes that window become temporarily invisible and all windows are invisible if I had more of them open so I could just see the one that I'm hovering over here in the thumbnail preview. Let me move off. If I double click and open up the network, now I have three windows open. Network behind that computer, behind that the C drive. Come back down here, hover over the C drive. 
come up here, hover over the thumbnail, all the open windows. Both of those become invisible and I can see through to my C drive window. So that's the application peak when I want to be able to see just one window and hide all the others. And then this is the arrow peak when I want to be able to see behind all the open windows or applications to my desktop. Just hover over that rectangle and it will show through. Of course mine was disabled and to re-enable it just right click in a blank area on the taskbar, go to properties, click on it. Be sure to check your box to use arrow peak, click okie dokie, and then when I hover over it, good. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.